Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Graciously Growing. So today, guys, I'm going to give you an update on how it's going in my backyard. So um, first of all, I'm going to show you the footage of how it looked when I first, um, you know, went out after the fall and winter season after doing absolutely nothing. It was horrible. And then I'm going to show you um, a little bit of footage of what I did initially to clean it up. We had some really nice weather. Um, it was like in the 70s, I think. Um, and so it just made me want to go out and do some yard work. And then the weather took a turn. We went from the 70s back to like the 50s. And so it was a gap between what I did then and how it's currently looking. So I want to show you the old footage and then I'm going to show you where we're at now. Okay, guys. So this is what I started with <laughs> when I walked out into my backyard after the long fall and winter months without you know doing anything um and weeds um had just grown over into the little garden area uh, you can really not even tell from the grass to the weeds so it yeah it was a pretty mess out here as you can see so I started by trying to make a separation between the grass area and the garden bed. And so I just went in and de-weeded um, all of that, um, those areas, um, getting it ready to add flowers for the spring and summer season. And as for the side yard, oh my gosh, it was a mess as well. Um, and the weeds had overgrown, plus a lot of just junk in the backyard that needed to be taken to the dump. So it was also a work in progress, um, as you can see. Okay, guys, so that's how it was looking. And now I'm going to share with you uh, some clips of how it's looking right now. And then we're going to actually just take a look at each and every plant that is currently out in my patio and backyard area.
Okay guys, let's start in this corner. Um, and let me show you the name of this beautiful tree. There you go. Um, and it's actually a shrub, as you can see. And what I like about it is it's an evergreen and um, it should be able to withstand the Pacific Northwest uh, winters. And then I'll also have an emerald green. Uh, let's see if this could focus. There you go. And it's also a shrub. And so I decided to put these in, these uh, four shrubs in these containers that I actually purchased last year or the year before. At the end of the season at Walgreens, they were like four bucks a piece and they just sat in my garage. And I decided two reasons not to plant them in the ground. Number one, our, the ground is so full of just rocks and everything, it's really, really hard to dig a hole deep enough. And then I also decided that I can move these around and maybe in the winter time, if it gets too harsh of a, a winter, I can actually put them on my patio. So yeah, that's what we have going on in this corner. I really like it. Then over here, I don't mind that table um, blocking off the area where I keep my um, my trash can and recycling bin because uh, my daughter's puppies will get it over there. And so I just blocked it off from there. And this is a water feature that I purchased a couple years ago from Home Depot. I think it's been at least two or three years. I just like the sound of it. It makes it very relaxing. Um, and then I have the total of one, two, and over there three lavender trees. They were purchased on Mother's Day by my daughter. And let's see if you want the exact name. If this will focus. There you go. Oh, actually, no, this is not the name. This is the Vinca. Vincas are actually the uh, the uh, little trailing plants that are that are um, coming out of the container. I actually purchased those a couple years ago, and they came back. But these are lavender um, little bushes, and my daughter purchased those for me. My daughter also purchased this beauty. Let me give you the name, hibiscus, um, and I can't wait. She she was blooming, um, and those blooms dropped, but I see she has quite a few new blooms um, getting ready to come out, so I'm excited to see that. And then I have these two plants, um, also a Mother's Day gift. And let me see if I can find the tag here. All right. Variegated red twig dogwood. And again, the reason why I chose this plant is because again, it doesn't look like just a bunch of twigs during the winter time. And so I, I really put, put some thought into what plants I would call um, staple plants that I wanted in the backyard that um, would stay their color. They would, first of all, be able to sustain, be able to survive our winters and wouldn't look like just twigs um, during the winter time. And of course, you guys know these are pansies right here. At least that's what I call them. And these are perennial pansies. And these containers here, the funny thing about these, I bought these, oh my God, it's been about two or three years. I think it was the first summer um, that I purchased this home and it matches perfectly with my lawn um, furniture, well, my patio furniture, even though they didn't come together and they're not by the same um, company. So I always, I just think that's amazing. Um, and I do need to find some, uh, Patio, not patio, but uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, cushion covers for my patio set. This, the ones I had last year, 
I got them from Amazon. They weren't really good quality. And um, the sun actually discolored them and they look really horrible. So I'm definitely on the hunt for some pretty uh, cushion covers for my patio set. And then, okay, and then here we go. We have another, the pansies again. And the same plant that's on this side is over here. Again, the lavender bush. And then these hostas, one, two, three, or at least a year, I think maybe two years old, because you know they're perennials, they come back. This one has came back really quickly and is really beautiful. These two, they're coming, they, obviously they came back, but they're just so much smaller. So I don't know what that's about, but yeah. And then we have another Mother's Day gift. This is a peony. I can't wait for her to bloom. And you can see she has one uh, bud right there. And then I right hear in the corner is the third little planter that I got at the same time a couple years ago. And this plant is called a Salavia, S-A-L-V-I-A. And I thought it just was really pretty. And so, yeah, you guys, that's all of the plants that I have so far in my backyard. Now, over here, I keep having to deweed this area, and I haven't finished dealing with the border. Um, one of the reasons is I cannot seem to get it straight, but these bricks here for Memorial Day at Home Depot, give you a good look at them. They are, they were four for a dollar you heard me right four for a dollar so i went ahead and purchased enough to fix to deal with this border i have some more bricks stacked over there you probably can't see them but i definitely have enough and but i keep having to weed this area because there's no plants there yet and so i'm going to get some of that weed mat um and put it down so that i can stop hopefully the majority of the weeds from coming back i still got a little bit more stuff to get rid of um here on this side yard but if you remember how it looked when i showed you at the very beginning you know that it looks a whole lot better and then um i don't think i'm ever going to put any plants over here but again i'm just going to try to keep the weeds from you know growing and i just strategically put some chairs out that I already had with my little uh, outdoor pillows that I got from Walmart a couple years ago as well. My favorite color, if you didn't notice, it's like that tealish bluish color. And then I got these uh, plant plant hooks. Is that what you call them, planter hooks? Uh, I have three of them. There's the, in there, one, you can't kind of see, but it's at the corner, two, and then three. Um, I may get some hanging hanging um, planters to put on them, but you know, plants are expensive. And then these three bushes here, they are about a year or two old. And again, they stay, you know, colorful all year round. And these are Winter Creeper Emerald Gold. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And I did put them in the ground and I will t I remember whew, how much work that was getting them um, deep enough, but they have survived. I really can't remember if it's been one year or two. I know it's been over a year. I know they've survived one winter, but I really want to say it's been two and they don't miss a beat. So yeah. And then I have two more, like I said. So yeah, you guys, that is, that is how my yard is coming along is really peaceful is really relaxing as you can see i have a lot more to do but it is a hundred hundred percent times better than it was when i first started so you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video it's been a work in progress and i do have a lot that um i still want to do for uh, this season and then I'm also going to try to figure out 
how I can kind of combat the weeds um, when the winter and fall comes. So I won't have to start over again. Obviously the patio is going to get dirty and I'm going to have to, you know, sweep it and and clean it up. But as far as where the weeds are in my, my borders, I'm going to try to see if I can figure out a way of not, you know, having to redo that every year. But again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, be blessed.